My name is Yip. I'm the CEO and founder of Jedi, Jedi Labs. Jedi Labs is a technology company based out of Estonia in the European Union. We are building a decentralized global brain. And with, with, with this brain, we are decentralizing access to knowledge and we are catalyzing collaboration. In particular, collaboration that is supporting the advancement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, how long have you been doing this? So my work in the blockchain space has ranged back to 2020, where I met at the World Economic Forum Joseph Lubin, who was one of the co-founders of Ethereum Blockchain. Ethereum Blockchain is the second largest technology company in the Web3 space at the moment with a market cap that is probably around 400 billion US dollars. And I was so inspired by the way of thinking how we can build an infrastructure that is not governed by one centralized entity, but that actually underlines true globalization. Globalization in the sense that there's no north-south divide, there's no east-west divide, but there's equal access and opportunity to every human being. Mm, yeah. yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, Italy, Italy. Oh, yes. I visited uh, Korea several times. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell me more about your sort of educational sort of yes. opportunities. Yes. So, I am born in Germany, but my parents came from Vietnam. And my father's side of the family came from China. <laughs> he was a Chinese born in Vietnam. I am a Vietnamese born in Germany. <laughs> you know, in our family history for the last two generations, there was a lot of migration. So that's why I would say I'm a world citizen because the, the way I make sense of my social navigation context is quite of a global nature. And what else can I say? I, I grew up in German society, was educated by German philosophy. My major in high school were ethics and French, <laughs> French language. And then I studied a business and I was very inspired by the works of Mohammed Yunus, who is the Peace Nobel laureate of 2006, who had invented that concept of microfinance out of Bangladesh. He said like one of the problems yeah, you know, it was so inspirational to me because I like capitalism. I grew up in a capitalist society. I was born 89 and Germany after that uh, reunited. <laughs> so, you know, I was born to the Western part of Germany and I actually see a lot of benefits in the way we use um, finances, financial infrastructure as a coordinator of assets in the economy. So I have uh, been inspired by that. But then Mohammed Yunus came and said there are a few problems with capitalism the way it is. For example, it's not inclusive. It's very exclusive in the way that those who don't have collateral cannot participate in the economy. And he just fixed that problem. And he created a movement, a movement that is social entrepreneurship and a movement that focuses on building um, economic transactions that do not distract capital from nature that do not destroy nature as a capital asset. And then I was really inspired and I studied and I worked for um, a different entities in Germany, in Berlin, for one of the largest German venture capital accelerators named Rocket Internet. I worked with uh, McKinsey, a strategy consulting company, trying to understand how governments should make decisions, how CEOs of top companies make decisions. Then I went into blockchain after I met um, Joseph Lubin and then I started my own project. And along the way, because I noticed decision-making should not only come from the brain, but also from the heart. I went to Asia to study the wisdom of the heart, and I became a meditation teacher. I have really? some meditation <laughs> ventures too. <laughs> and now I'm integrating. Very interesting, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, just lot. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You've done quite a lot. Eh? You, so, I'm just stepping into footsteps of leaders like yourself. Like, yeah. seriously. Yeah. So, um, 
for you, uh, you are well settled in Germany, yes. right? What do you think you have to teach German children for BGI, AGI, or, you know, do you think we should teach them early enough? What they are. <laughs> I think first we should teach German children um, to not fear the unknown. It's a mindset mm. thing. Mm. Because if you don't fear the unknown, you mm. don't fear failure. Mm. And then you can conquer anything. You can learn anything. May it be AI, cybersecurity, quantum, anything. Because you, when you have this mindset of can do and curiosity to learn, then I think imagination um, has no limits. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you think of uh, some sort of opportunity for us, you know, all four of us on the stage yes. could work together, what could that be? Like blockchain, whatever, um, networking, yeah. or uh, any other? You know, out of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Many have been very well explored, but one that has been underserved, I think, is number 17, um, global strategic partnerships. This has not yet been very well developed on global stage. And I think we can embody that leadership together. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, really loved, I really loved how you took a voice and expressed your ideas. Mm. of creating matching funds, mm. it makes a lot of sense. And it gives very good incentives for those, um, very good economic incentive to participate in that. Yeah. My role, my contribution would be to bring women into the program. Yeah. Yeah. They are giving money away anyway, so, you know, put it here so that you have all the networks. And also higher sort of um, what is it, you know, value rather than Korean money to Koreans. You are a visionary lady. Yes. So, Strong visionary leader. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much. We will work on it. Let's do it. Connected, right? I'm happy to contribute with Estonia and Germany connections. Two mm -hmm. countries from EU. Estonia is in Germany. No, no. Estonia is country in EU. Country. Yeah, in yeah, in the Nordics. Yeah. But you know they are very small. Yeah. 1.3 million uh, yes. inhabitants. So, yeah. but they are fully EU regulated. Mm -hmm. So it's a small country with a lot of power. So you know a lot about Estonia. Yeah, my companies are there. I have two companies in Estonia. Oh, you established companies. Yeah, because it's digitized already. Everything is digitized. I I are you want to invite for, you. Are you looking for a Korean representative? Yeah, we are soon going to also um, go to Korea Blockchain Week, I think this September. October, November? I have never been to Korea. So we will go there yeah, if you can, can support yeah, us. Can yes. I know almost everybody in, the, in that sort of you know, blockchain. Are you doing anything with Vietnam or with China? No. Not yet. I want to invite you to a very good conference in April that is in Vietnam. That is the Horasis Asia Leaders with the focus on China leaders. It happens two days conference, very similar to World Economic Forum mm. for business people. It happens one hour north of Ho Chi Minh City. Mm. I can um, share with you the agenda and you can decide if you want to join as a speaker. Mm. Yeah. I can bring my robot. <laughs> <laughs>